What is up, YouTube? Let's say this puddle's a one here, and I am bringing you another narrated Wi Fi battle. Now, today, guys, I got an OU match against Igna77. I don't know, but his trainer name is Ignacio. It's a lot easier to say. But uh, anyway, look at my team. I'm going to go over this really quick because I got a lot to talk about. So, my team is Scarf Landorus T, which does a lot of work this battle. Specially defensive Tyranitar, uh, Bulky Starmie, Standard Physically Defensive Skarmory, SD Lucario, and uh, Wall Breaking Mixments, which is cool. I haven't used it in a battle yet, but it's still cool. Look at my opponent's team. It's a pretty good team. It's just I think that the Ninetales should be replaced by a Tyranitar or a Hippo just because he has four things on the team that wouldn't get hit by Sandstorm. And I, I figure he's trying to counter weather, but um, I, I just feel like the sand would be more beneficial for him, his team and the countering weather job than uh, the Ninetales. But hey, to each his own. And um, anyway, I'm going to give you a little backstory about this team. I was on Smogan and I was looking for battles uh, before I got my new ROM, which I'll go into in a second, but uh, Mystical found me, he battled me, we actually got an, a full battle through, which is really shocking, it was a terrible battle, don't get me wrong, I almost got swept by a Whiskash, but he was like, use SD Lucario, and I was like, oh my gosh, perfect, so I did it, <laughs> and here we go, my opponent's going to be leading off with the Gengar, as I decided to lead off with my Scarf Landorus T, and uh, oh yeah, every Pokemon on this team is named Mystical in honor of him. So anyway, I'm going to go for the U-turn right off the bat. I don't want to take a Shadow Ball. I don't want to take a Focus Blast. I don't have the best special defense, but I just don't I just don't really want to take a hit right now. So I'm going to go for the U-turn, go out into my specially defensive Tyranitar, because I know I can take that hit that I'm afraid of with my Lander's T. And he's actually going to go for the Energy Ball, which is all right to run, but um, other moves do tend to trump it. Uh, I think it kind of works a little bit better on um, Alakazam back in the day, but, you know, right now, I guess it's fine. He's going to go for the Ghost Gem Boosted Shadow Ball. He probably would have just been better off going for another Energy Ball, but I do get my rocks up for what I'm going to say is basically free because that Ghost Gem Boosted Shadow Ball didn't do too much to me. So, from here, I'm actually going to go for the Crunch. I wanted to go for Pursuit, but uh, I'm just not good at when, when and when not to go for Pursuit, but I decided to go for the Crunch. He brings in this Gliscor, and it actually does a decent amount of damage to this thing, seeing as how I don't think I have any attack investment. I might have, the you know, the random four, but... Not entirely sure. Anyway, I'm going to switch out here. I don't want to take an Earthquake, so I know that my Skarmory, for the most part, always walls a Gliscor, unless it has, like, HP Fire or something. They don't really have those, but if it did, then I wouldn't be able to wall it that well. But anyway, I'm just going to go for one layer of Spikes. I was going to go for the Whirlwind, and that's why I brought this guy in, um, because I figured he'd want to, you know, set up an SD or something weird like that, but that's fine. He brings in, he brings in his Ninetales, and I don't want to take a Will-O-Wisp, so I'm going to switch out and go into my Tyranitar, and you guys might be thinking, why would you go out into your Tyranitar? It's a physical attacker. Uh, I actually run Fire Blast as the fourth move in the set. I have Crunch, Pursuit, Stealth Rock, and Fire Blast, just to catch those, um... Uh, what are those things called? The things, that, the bullet punching guys, uh, the scissor, he has one on his team, to catch those off guard, but I decided to switch out here because I don't want to take uh, another energy ball or anything, and you know, just what have you, I decided to switch out, he goes into his guard chomp, and now I know he's going to want to switch out because uh, they, my uh, Pokemon tend to carry the ice beam, so I wanted to go for the Psy Shock, predicting the Gengar to come in, but on the off chance that he stayed in and wanted to set up a sub, I wanted to get off a heavy hit with my Skull and possibly burn him, but I'm not going to be able to get the burn off on this Gengar, which would have been really helpful because it would have just died here, um, but it really doesn't matter because I knew I would outspeed because for some reason, this thing is real. It's so defensive. It can take. I took a U turn the other day from something. And I don't even know. But whatever. He's going to go out into his scissor here. I don't want to take um, a U turn from this guy right now because I know I'm not going to get the burn. So I actually switch out and go into my Landorus T, get the Intimidate off, and then he's actually going to go for the Bug Bite because he has the Life Orb set. And now I'm worried that he's going to um, have the SD and the Roost on this set because that's usually what you run. He goes for the bullet punch as I go for the earthquake, and I'm actually going to score a critical hit. Now, I'm not sure how much that really mattered, just because I'm pretty sure I would have gotten it to be a two-hit KO. And if he had roost, um, then it might have been a problem, but I know I'm, I'm scarfed. I would outspeed him, but it's just, I'm not sure how, would, how it would have went. But he goes out to his Jirachi here. No idea what this Jirachi was going to do because I am scarfed, so I'm going to take him out with the um, earthquake, which is super effective stab, all that good stuff. And then he sends out his nine tails. I don't know what I was thinking here, but I decided to switch out and go into my Tyranitar. Um, what I, my best guess is I wanted to get rid of his son. I don't really know. 
But, like I said, I am Scarfed, and uh, he does have the Gliscor left that can, you know, wall me, get up a sub, do whatever he wants, but whatever. I decided to switch out my Tyranitar is the thing. I don't want to go for a Crunch or a Pursuit because I know it's not going to do too much, so I decided to go for a Fire Blast, risk the miss. He actually misses the Heat Wave, and I hit my Fire Blast. Nintendo Game Freak logic, you know, I don't know. But anyway, um, on this next turn, he's actually going to be able to hit his Heat Wave. Not sure why he's going for those instead of um, energy balls. I think he thinks Stab does more than super effective in this case, but it's not very effective, so, you know, whatever. I do manage to hit both my Fire Blasts, take this thing out, and uh, I'm not doing too good because Burn has slowly but surely taken me down to a reasonable amount of HP uh, for the kill of a Gliscor. That, w that didn't word right, but whatever. He's going to go for the Earthquake, take me out. I have a dead Tyranitar, and now I can go into my Scarf Landorus T, and you guys might be thinking, that's weird, why would you go out into that? But that's because I got the HP ice on this bad boy, and what does he have left? A Gliscor I have HP, and a Garchomp. Both times four super effective on them, and I'm Scarfed, so they're not going to outspeed me. And even if they did, I kind of feel like he would have to lock himself into Outrage to do enough damage to take out my Landorus T, because um, I don't know if a Dragon Claw would do it, but Outrage for sure would do it and then i have more than enough to take care of it so um I, that's gonna be the game thank you ignacio for the battle thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoy this team because it's actually a pretty fun team uh once you once you get the ball rolling i know you guys only saw four of the six pokemon but in the next game you'll see my lucario and then um hopefully eventually you'll see this mix mens but um yeah that's that's it i hope you guys enjoyed Please, please, please check out Mystical, because he is just an amazing narrator. Um, I'm not sure if we're friends. I would love to say that we're friends. I'm not sure if we're on that level yet um, on his end. But <laughs> if he watches this and says we're friends, then oh my god, that's I'm starstruck, because I really, I've, I've always liked Mystical, and uh, he's a really good narrator. For You know what? Instead of me talking, how about you actually just click from the Gengar all the way to the Garchomp. It'll take you to his channel. You guys can see for yourself. I highly recommend that you sub. If you guys don't sub... I don't know what's wrong with you because he is a great guy. He does, he has, he puts a lot of work into his videos and um, he does Fast Narration Friday, which is pretty awesome. And uh, hey, if you subscribe to him, then you get two for sure Pokemon Wi Fi battles on Friday, his and mine, but you'll stop watching mine because you'll start watching his. I don't know why I'm still talking. If you guys want to see my last video, click my Salamance to see it. If you guys want to see my next video when I upload it, click the Landorus. That's about it, guys. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Tumblr, add me on Skype. Puddles A1 is the name throughout all that. Thank you guys for watching. For those of you that wanted to battle me and I did battle you and the game cut off, it's because of my ROM. I got a new ROM, it works 100% of the time. So we can battle for sure. Leave your name comment whatever uh use my social links and uh i'm out of here guys peace love and later gators